And our game today is Austria against Germany. It's an international fixture here, Alan, that'll bring back memories for you and your England career. Well, it is a proud moment. You stand there, you sing along to the national anthem and uh, you just want to do yourself justice representing your country. And the match is under the control of Mehmet Yildiraz. And there's the first whistle and the game is underway. So this is how the hosts line up today. The system that we think they're going to go with is 4-5-1. That one striker will need a bit of support. Yeah, you do not want him to be left isolated, otherwise this formation will not work. And Germany are going to go for this lineup for this match. Manuel Neuer starts in goal. Mats Hummels plays with Jerome Boateng in central defence. Tony Kroos starts with Sami Khedira in the middle. Mario Gomez is the lone striker today. Put them in front. Goalkeeper can only... And the goal via the underside of the bar. When he hit it, I think he might have been worried that it would go over the bar when it was below the bar, certainly off the bottom of the bar and in. Yeah, I'm not sure whether he actually meant to hit it that high up, but uh, he doesn't care now, he's loving that goal. And that has opened the scoring, 1-0 here. Sami Khedira. Florian Kainz. David Alaba. Sami Khedira. Here's a chance to attack. You don't need to see all the cards here from the referee, and he's keeping the cards in his pocket. Just a free kick. Well, if he kept it low, it might have gone in under the wall, but they jumped to stop the higher free kick. And he's got the ball away from him with the tackle. Comfortable stop. Goalkeeper, not trouble. A foul, and uh, they'll get a free kick for that. Saved by the goalkeeper, that free kick. <laughs> Mesut Ozil. Now, here's a chance to get at the opposition. Neatly intercepted. And this is going to be a throw. Julian Draxler. It was good play until they got that challenge in. Baumgartlinger. David Alaba. Good forward play from them. Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to inter... Alaba. Marco Anatovic. And the referee spotted that deflection. He's pointed for the corner. <laughs> Mesut Ozil. Germany on the attack. This could be it. It's opened up. In with a chance. That is a supreme save at full stretch. Germany are the team trailing at the moment, and they have a cup. Kadira, Tony Kroos. Looked very good indeed, but the move has broken down. It's Kimmich. Gomez. They've got the ball back by that interception. Baumgartlinger. Threaded through. They could. Great ball. Just the keeper to beat. Have increased their advantage then. Yeah, I think that would have been game over. It should have been really from that distance. Still too early in the overall contest to call this a disaster. Trying to get in behind just a little too eagerly then. He could give the defender a yard, you know, and still get there. Yeah, he's unlucky. There wasn't much in it there. Well, he's used a hand there. It'll be a free kick. Tony Kroos. 
On to the attack now. Good position of pressing high up the pitch, but they're keeping the ball. They've got enough numbers back. Good anticipation by the opposing player there to read the direction of the throw. David Alaba. And the added time will amount to three minutes at least. Looking for teammates in the middle. It's rather skewed off his head in the end. Yeah, he, uh, he didn't catch it properly. I think he probably closed his eyes there. Florian Kainz. And that's half-time. Signaled by the referee. 1-0 the half-time score. The start now of the second period. David Alaba. We've got an angle on this uh, offside call, Alan, and I must say, it is the most difficult thing in all the officiating, I think, but this assistant has got eagle eyes. Well, I certainly wouldn't want to do that job because uh, the uh, speed that players move now, as it turns out, what a great call. Come away with the ball cleaning, great tackle. David Alaba. Dead through. This could be useful, actually. Opportunity here. They scored by the crossbar. And it thumped into the net via the underside of the bar. Well, it is difficult for any keeper when that happens because uh, difficult to reach up to it. Just widen the margin here to 2 0. This attack has got a bit of menace to it. And Tony Kroos! Really at the extent of his reach to make that very fine stop. Well, it's uh, one change, and it looks like it's a case of just trying to freshen the team up a bit. Joshua Kimmich. In comes the challenge. Sebastian Prudel. David Alaba. It's Kimmich. Mesut Ozil. Now, here's a chance to get at the opposition. Well, he's had a go, and what a goal! Wow, it's not often you see somebody find the back of the net from that distance. That is stunning. Well, he defied the odds by taking the shot on and scoring the goal. Well, we see it again, how close it was to maybe hitting the post and staying out. But luck was with him. In it goes, it counts. Now, I think the goalkeeper thought he got his angles covered there, but uh, he didn't look too pleased when it rebounded in. Off we go again. Two, one. Here's a chance to go down the outside of the opposition. On the attack, we still a moment or two ago, but it rather left them dismayed in the end. Florian Kainz. David Alaba. Well, I like the look of this attack. And now to itch. A try one now. Well done, the goalkeeper. And he's hung on to the ball. Slip through. Alaba. to be maybe too precise, Alan. Yeah, I think so. Instead of just getting some power behind it, try to be a bit too clever from close in. On the attack here. And shoots! <laughs> getting the ball back and thinking attacks. Excellent vision. Joshua Kimmich. Jerome Botek. Good defending when they needed it, really. 
because that was quite a slick breakaway. David Alaba. It's a quick break. Surely played in the clear. Well, he tried to place it and could hardly have placed it further from the goal. I can only think that got a horrible bobble. You know, that was a shocker. Well, he's cut that out well, well read. They've worked so hard, the team, to be in front here, and that's been recognised. But... And now the shot! It's out for a corner. And in it goes. Not able to take full advantage of a good position. Put into the middle. I think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. Very straightforward piece of goalkeeping as he catches the cross. Germany will fight to the very last. There's absolute guiding it through the defenders. Shot on! And such quality in the build-up and a brilliant finish. A wonderful goal. Patrick, goal number three here. And it's a perfect day for the player. Well, no wonder he's wheeling away in a super celebration. To get a hat-trick is a fantastic experience, and he's just done that. Well, having scored two, he's just so full of comps, and he never looked like missing that chance. 3-1 the scoreline as we restart the game. And it's going to be a minimum of three minutes to be played of added time. He's coming forward with some danger. For Arnautovic. And he could get away here. Arnautovic! Oh, that's thrown over the bar. Oh, the crowd were up on their feet there. It's a spectacular effort. Well, undoubtedly, he was the star man today. Well, he goes across and grabs the match ball from the ref. A hat-trick, and that's to be treasured by any player. Final thoughts, not a real post-mortem, Alan, but obviously disappointment is a key. Uh, and they've lost a the game that they were desperate to win. Yeah, there'll be a bit of an inquest, I think, because they didn't quite do themselves justice, so plenty of work on the training ground next week.